Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and where we left off last week was we put our rim in place. So we'll begin by letting you take a look at the basket here. Now, last week, if you remember, I had clothespins on here. I've changed them to uh, these zip ties or cable ties for a couple of reasons. One, I think you can see things a little bit better. And number two, for demonstration purposes, I don't want my clothespins just popping off uh, accidentally. Now it's time to lash on our rim. And to do so, I am going to be using 11 64ths flat oval. I am going to begin on one of the sides of my basket rather than in the front. Sometimes where you start and stop your lashing, it doesn't always look quite as pretty, so you might want to start on one of your sides or in the back of your basket. Now, I'm going in between two stakes. I am sliding this 11 64th flat oval up between the two stakes and underneath the seagrass. Just so you know, I have Currently, the flat side is facing the outside of the basket, and you'll see that's going to change in just a minute. Push it up about, oh, inch, inch and a half, give it a bend, and then slide it back down to the inside. Do you see it coming out on the inside of the basket there? And just pull it down. I'm going to just leave it and I will cut that short when I'm ready to clean up my basket. Now, as I get ready to loop this around, now the flat oval side is to the outside of the basket and that's what we want. One thing I need to tell you is when you're lashing on a rim, if you're going to lash around the basket just one time around, you're lashing material should go around your basket about two and a half times. On this basket I'm going to lash all the way around and then I'm going to go back a second time. So I want my, and you'll see what that'll look like in just a bit, but I want my lashing to go around my basket five times. So, I've, and I've already measured this before I started taping. That was once, twice, three times, four times, five times. It's just nice if you don't have to splice your lashing. Then, then that's really handy. This is a lashing tool. Uh, other terms for it are a lash buddy or a lash saver. You can get this at your basket weaving supply store. And um, as my friend Ann calls it, it's just like a little shoehorn for basket weaving. And what you do is we're going to slide it in. Here we started between these two stakes. We're going to go between the next two stakes. I am sliding it under the rim and under that quarter inch flat rim row. Now, I really want to make sure that I don't have twists in my lashing because then it just, it's not as pretty looking here. And then just, it slides right in. It just, it makes it like a wonderful shoehorn. It just slides it so slick. Because this is such long read, I'm not going to keep pulling it all through at once. I'm going to work with a shorter piece. Now I've got, I'm going to go to the next, between the next two stakes. I go in between each and every stake. And I'm going to pull that, I'm going to leave it a little loose. Go between the next two stakes. And I just continue around the basket like this. I'm going to stop this video now because otherwise it's probably going to get a little boring for you to just continue watching. Once I get to the end where I've kind of run out of material, oops, 
Then what I want to do is come back, take up a little of the slack. Again, I'm not pulling it tight yet. I'm just pulling in some of the slack to give me a little bit more to work with. I just don't want to work with that mile long piece of lashing. And by, by working with a smaller amount like this, and I the fact that I ensured that my reed was not twisted to begin with, I'm keeping my reed nice and straight where it needs to be. So let me continue on with my basket and I will be back in just a little bit.